glad I get to live in a world where they're all tobers, aren't you? <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. Theodore is looking perfect at the moment. This is not the cutest dog you've ever seen in your entire life. Um, last night, he did quite possibly the worst thing he has ever done, which is why he's acting like such an angel right now to make up for it. I don't even want to tell you what he did because I feel awful about it, but um, basically it it was a situation in the backyard that involved a possum and I was screaming the entire time. It was a horrible experience. So he's trying to make up for it now. So it is October. Hello, hello. I love October. Who doesn't love October? I mean, it is like the quintessential autumn month. And I thought I would just spend a few days with you guys um, just doing cozy October-like activities and just a few days in my everyday life at home. As you guys know, I was like traveling for a long time and since I've been home, it's been kind of odd if I'm being honest. Um, it's been taking some adjusting. You know, I love being home because I, I really miss my family and my friends so much and I love that I am around them again, but at the same time, it feels like, you know, I'm like back in my room and I've sort of outgrown it in a sense. Um, so it's, it's a weird feeling. I'm still very happy though and I thought I would just spend a few days with you guys. By the way, my shirt reading is sexy. This is from Favorite Child Collective. Shout out to Favorite Child Collective for sending it to me. I just love that brand so much. This morning, I have just been kind of doing things around the house. Obviously, like I work from home because I do content creation as my job. So I've been working, like answering some emails, doing a little bit of writing. But right now, I was just doing some like flat lay pictures because I'm working on a very special project which I'm not gonna talk about yet, but I am really excited about it. Today's actually my mom's birthday, so I think I'm gonna go to like Trader Joe's and buy some flowers and then make some banana bread later on. Okay, I just went to Trader Joe's. Oh my god, I have like it looks like I have so much hair right now I don't like know what to do with it. I swear last year my hair was like up to here It's grown so much in the past year. It's insane I have always struggled with growing my hair out and this is the longest it has ever been Which is really exciting for me because I always dreamt of having like really long hair when I was a kid But it felt like it just got to a certain length and it would just like stop growing Don't know what it was. Anyways, random tangent. Um, I just went to Trader Joe's which is always always a fun time and they had out like all of their pumpkins and all of their autumnal desserts and items which is always like really just fun to look at so i got these flowers for my mom i just think they're so beautiful i guess these are daisies right they kind of look like daisies to me this looks like the flower that max gives lorelei when he proposes to her so i'm just gonna go with it it's giving gilmore girls season three episode one i think no, season two, episode one, when they fill up the entire town with the yellow daisies that Max proposes to her with. So I'm gonna go home and like put these in a cute little vase and make it all aesthetic looking. Trader Joe's also had all of their like seasonal sweets and like random bits and bobs out. So I got some pumpkin butter, which I've never tried this. It's described as like a spreadable pumpkin pie. I'm going to make banana bread later and I thought this would be a good thing to spread on top of the banana bread to make it just like a little bit more autumnal, you know? But yeah, that was fun. I love going into a Trader Joe's. I love going to grocery stores. Is anyone like this? Like I love grocery shopping. It is like one of my favorite things to do during the week. Grocery shopping to me is one of the funnest activities. I love just going to a grocery store and getting my weekly groceries, like hunting and gathering. It's just so exciting it's one of my favorite like mundane human activities that i do i don't know just a random thought now i'm going to go home and clean the house before my mom gets home i'll see you guys later hello who is this it's over i'm leaving my wife 
No, 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 that's not how it goes. I have here two ripe bananas, which I have been waiting all week for these to get ripe so that I can make um, a loaf of banana bread, which if you don't know, banana bread is actually so easy to make. You literally just get all the ingredients and mix it together and put it in the oven, meaning you don't have to like wait for it to rise or anything like that, like you would with a normal bread. So I will link the recipe down below if you guys want to try to make it. And I think I am going to as per usual, watch an episode of Gilmore Girls while I bake this because that's just what I do, you know? And um, we all have our own little comfort things that we always go back to. And mine is baking and watching Gilmore Girls. So the episode we're watching today is season one, episode six. This is the episode where it's Rory's birthday and she has the two birthday parties. I think what I like about this episode is like you get kind of their life in Stars Hollow, but you also get the life with their grandparents and like that juxtaposition I really, really enjoy. You know, it's kind of one of my favorite things about this. The show in general on top of that it just has like the perfect mix of like conflict and coziness like all wrapped up into one so we were thinking that maybe we could push our dinner next week to saturday what are you going to do on friday well, I don't know. well first you'll come here and we'll have a little party i'm sorry friday night till my night okay fine you can get it the bong then you're serious according to you i'm always serious so now tell me why miss lemon has today nothing i i'm fine I just got an A minus on a French test that I should have gotten an A on. Only I had a huge fat stomach, just assumed there was an actual use for the cup of ice chips they gave me. So who could put their school friends in the library that goes I have to go to the bathroom. Just say hello first. Come on, I'll hold those for you. Paris? My parents made me come. Oh, God. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Oh, come in and greet me. Hello, Tristan. So where's my birthday kiss? I now officially know what it feels like to have grown up here. Mm, it's not official until you're huddled in a corner eating your hair. I was pregnant. Well then. And I said something at the table about the pate smelling like Clorox and one thing led to another and I wound up here. I will say I usually don't add the chocolate chips when I make banana bread. I usually do walnuts. You can pretty much add like whatever you want in terms of toppings. Um, you can do like walnuts, raisins, chocolate chips, whatever. Um, but today I felt like it called for chocolate chips and we just so happened to have chocolate chips in the cabinet, so. I honestly, I just think everything automatically tastes better when there's chocolate in it. I feel like it's gonna be so good too, like with the pumpkin butter on top. So I am just having a very cozy night in and I am so happy to introduce to you today's sponsor which is Z Home. This is a brand that is dedicated to bringing comfort, durability, and timeless design into homes. Crafted from the finest materials, this makes their products both functional and aesthetically pleasing. They aim to transform homes into cozy sanctuaries, blending relaxation and also stylish living, which is pretty much my mission statement as well. They sent me the Cooling Gel Memory Foam Hybrid Mattress which has so many amazing features. It actually helps regulate body temperature, which ensures cool and breathable comfort all night long. The soft cushiony layer in the middle helps to align your spine and the high density base foam layer is there for durability and body support. Personally, I tend to have back and spine alignment issues. So I love this mattress because the medium firmness provides pressure relief in every position. There are no harmful substances in this product. So it is safe for both humans and animals. This mattress also stays quiet, ensuring undisturbed sleep even for couples, which personally I am not, but I do sleep with my dog every night, so I love this feature since we both move around a lot in the night. It was delivered right to my doorstep in a compressible box, so the setup was super easy and expanded fully within 72 hours, and there's also a 10-year warranty. So if you're looking for a new addition to your cozy space, this mattress will fit right in. There is a 10-year warranty on it, and I will have it linked down below in the description box. Thank you so much to Zihom for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to the vlog.
is my little lip combo. This is YSL Love Shine. So good. And then I just go over it with this little matte lipstick. Just like in the center. It doesn't there's not like any product left in here. I just like to use the wand to like blend it out a little bit. Right now I'm actually in the car. Obviously I'm in the car, but I'm going to go pick up my grandma and we are gonna go antique shopping and then we go to like this little tea room um, It's just kind of like something that we do together about like every other month. It's super fun We go to this like little area and it kind of reminds me of like stars hollow So I always romanticize it in my head like I'm Rory Gilmore shopping with my grandma at Kim's antiques Like that's just that's the energy that I feel and that's the storyline that I'm going for but Yes, we will see what we get up to I'm gonna go pick up my grandma right now and do some shopping and I will catch up with you guys later. They don't make stuff like this anymore. Okay, so this is exciting. I got my Halloween costume in the mail. Uh, you know, honestly, I usually, I feel bad. I usually try to like DIY my Halloween costumes and make them sort of different and creative. Um, but this year I just, I wanted to be Regina George so badly. I've been wanting to be her for years, but every year I ended up, I end up just like doing something else. But I've always wanted to wear the bunny costume that she wears to the Halloween party. It's not the kind of Halloween costume that I usually wear. Um, like I never really wear something that's like deliberately like risque, you know? But if, if I was going to do this any year of my life, I feel like this is the year to do it. <laughs> I'm so excited to wear it. Wait, I'm gonna be wearing like tights with it and yeah, hopefully it fits. I hope I got the right size. I think it will. That looks like it would fit. Oh my gosh, okay. So I guess it just comes with the leotard and the bunny ears and like the cuffs, which is totally fine because I just so happen to have a white pair of go-go boots in my wardrobe. Okay, how do these, how are these gonna stick? <laughs> That's the question. I suppose I'll probably just end up taking them off anyways at some point in the night. Halloween is the one night a year when a girl can dress like a total slut and no other girls can say anything about it. 
But yeah, I'm just going to do some work on my computer and then do a little bit of reading, a little bit of writing, just a little bit of my nightly routine. chit chat. I've been having a good week this week. Since I was like traveling for so long, it's so strange to be home and it's it kind of felt like coming home to like a museum of my past self in a way, um, which was a little bit startling, I will say. Again, like I said at the beginning, like my family and my friends mean so much to me and being with them is like just one of the best feelings in the world, but like outside of that, it sort of feels like I've outgrown this place a little bit. Um, but I am still trying to be very like mindful and present. Like when I was on my trip, I was so mindful and present and in the moment. And in that I was able to find this sort of like magic and whimsy in every single thing that I did. Whereas that is so much harder to find in your everyday life, but I feel like I absolutely have to try my best to make that happen for myself by implementing like different rituals and just trying to be as mindful as possible. Um, I have like a new writing routine and that's been helping me a lot and like just like different creative routines that I've been really trying to implement into my life um, as well as just other things like like lighting a candle. Like I try to do this a few times a week where I make dinner and I'll like light a candle and like eat by the candlelight. Like just like random things like injecting sort of like magic and beauty into my everyday life because this is this is the only way my brain like knows how to exist in a joyful manner so I just like have to do these things. I have to romanticize everything because I think this is like our one life that we get and I want to make everything as beautiful and magical as possible. Autumn is honestly the easiest time to do that because everything feels more romantic in October. I'm so glad to live in a world where there are Octobers. I love autumn. I just love it. <laughs> um, I do have a Patreon, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, all that will be linked down below. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys and I will see you. I will see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>